Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another... It's been a while since I worked on this uh, brome diorama, and as you can see, I haven't worked on it for a while because I've been thinking of a different way to do this. I like how the the street turned out. I think that looks like the asphalt road look that I want. But I didn't like the way the driveway all looked the same. And as you can see here from my oopses and layers of glue, that uh, it just didn't look good. And then I tried to lighten it up with different color gray paints. And uh, it just kept looking bluer and bluer. And then I just decided, well, I'll just spray some primer over it and see what it looks like. <laughs> and then you got what we got here. It is not, uh, not not something that I want to uh, to keep in this condition. Like I said, I do like the way this turned out. I tried to tape it off and then lighten this up, but I should have went with the lighter colored ballast, something more concrete um, looking, a lighter. And I noticed my driveway has more of a it's not necessarily a gray concrete, but it's kind of like a browny, really light colored. I don't know what color you'd consider it. So I consider it this color here. I got me some lighter colored ballast, and I'm thinking that's probably going to match as close as I can get to what. Uh, this looks more like a, a brown, but I like it better than the whole thing being the the dark gray but I'm not gonna do it over this this is you, you can keep layering and layering and layering it's I think it's just gonna keep looking worse and worse and worse so what I decided to do what I came up with the new master plan is I cut some foam that's gonna represent the this is gonna represent the street layer I will glue that and also well Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That'll be the street. This is going to be the gutter part. And I will do a curb here and here that slopes down and then goes into the approach. That is going to be the lighter color. And then there's about, there's a small portion of driveway poured, according to my driveway. Kind of looks like this. It's not going to be exact, but it's got the approach going to it, and this is the first pad. It's a smaller pad. Then you got the main chunks of driveway that are going to go on like that. That's where the brome will sit. And then this will be the garage floor. And I'm going to glue them all down to this, over that mess. We're going to just... We're sweeping it under the rug, so to speak. <laughs> um, we're going to call it a, <laughs> a nice, um, well, I can't say a nice base, but we'll just consider it a base for the, the, the real deal. And what I'm going to do here is after this is all dried and uh, glued down, I will tape off the sections, do the road. The street section in the darker gray let that dry good I will tape off this section do the light let it dry tape off and I will do each of them as separate pieces but I think I'm gonna want to glue it to this base first otherwise I'm afraid that it'll curl up and there's no guarantee this is this <laughs> this isn't gonna warp either so this is all, it's experimental. I've never done a diorama before, which should be pretty obvious by now. And I I watch videos and watch people do them and it, they make it look so easy, but they've got several of them under their belt. They're, they're professionals, I consider. <laughs> I am not a professional. And again, these are not how-tos. <laughs> More like how-not-tos, if you want to consider it that way. But this is the main point of my channel is to encourage people to do new things and try things. Don't be afraid to try it. Not everything's going to be a win. 
as you can see, I've had to do some of these things over a few times. This here, this is going to be like take number four, I think, on this driveway. But we'll see how this turns out. So I'm going to remove these. And I got them in a certain order. And I also kept the chunks that I cut out here. And I'll do another deal for the... Uh, um, oh, I moved it away from my mark. For the rock. There's a little bit of rock driveway that's going to go this way. And I'll also do the the pavers area there. But enough about that stuff. I've been sitting here just... I think it's obvious that it's not something that's going to be acceptable and we just need to press on with a new, new plan. So, we'll get the glue out and we're just going to start gluing these pieces down. Now I'll let them cure. Maybe, if my glue's not stuck. There we go. We're just gonna... Get a nice layer, and then I'm gonna squish it down really good. Don't mean to slop it around like that, but... I'm just gonna move it around a bit. Oh, that actually... I think that's going to be a nice bond because of all that um, texture there. That's going to it's going to create them glue pins that I was talking about that one time. And after I get all these, yeah, that's that's actually really nice. It's sticking good. Excellent. And we'll just keep going along the deal. And I'm going to try not to. get any in between i want to try to i figured too if i do it in in sections like this it's going to create them expansion joints that i wanted in between the the different um i guess it'd be your concrete pores Pushing around a little bit, move it back and forth to get it nice and like so. Let's give it a little more glue. I didn't. Maybe it'd be better to put them on the individual pieces. It's not like this. Elmer's is expensive, so I don't think I should be worrying about wasting any. There's that. Make sure we're recording, because it's been a while. And it's nice to be working on uh, models again. I've been so busy doing outdoor stuff, getting, you know, planted a big garden. Um... Had some storms and knocked some tree branches down. Had to get rid of haul some tree branches away and been kind of busy. I, I get done late at night and then I'm like, man, I want to post a video, but I, it needs to be something easy and quick so I can go to sleep. So that's why it's been mostly gaming videos. Perfect. But, yeah, I'm sure some people that are wondering, where's that bro map? I'm one of those people that if, if it's not turning out the way I'd like it to, I throw it back in the, um, just gotta put it aside and think a bit how, about how I want to proceed with it. And then I kind of figured out this plan of attack. I 
in the last week. And it's a shame I got it. I'm doing it this way now because it kind of defeated the purpose of all the plaster and all that painting I did. But intentions were good. My my uh, the way I executed them though was not the best. Yeah, I think that's gonna dry all right. I'm actually impressed with that. As long as it don't, as it dry, it doesn't curl. That'd be the what I'd be worried about the most. I thought we'd try it this way. No harm done. It's it's already looking a uh, ten times better than it did, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Just by covering this mess. back here. I'm kind of doing it a different direction with the, the foam on the foam so that I get more glue in different spots. And then once it's dry I might have to, I don't want to hit the corners yet because, well I won't want to hit the corners at all because then my the grass and the other stuff isn't going to butt up to it, right? Yeah, look at that. Expansion joints. Kind of oozed out there and I didn't really want it to, but I think once I get all this down, I'll just, I got some MDF that I got for my CNC machine. I wanted to play with that and that's another thing I got a 3d printer and I've had a little mini CNC machine forever that I just haven't done nothing with I gotta work on that too I also one of those people with with a lot of ambition <laughs> I tend to have a lot of irons in the fire at once So I apologize if you don't always see a certain project that I'm working on. Like the brome. Now, well, like I said, I've been busy doing outdoor stuff. I haven't really had a chance to do sit down and do any model stuff till today. I had to play with that one a little bit because it's got a lot of ballast chunked up. I'm going to want that to go down a little. Oh. There we go. I think that will work for that. So I will let this, I'm going to put something on top of it so that it stays into place and dries the way I want it to. And next time you see it, I'm going to probably start with a darker ballast. And we'll go from there. It already looks, like I said, a heck of a lot better than I did. <laughs> if we don't succeed in one one plan, we'll uh, we'll go on to the next one. If we get down to Plan Z, we'll just we'll we'll go we'll go Plan A A and then B B or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.